Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. This is a bonus video for today, and this is going to be a sneak peek into a uh, public demo of the game that's under construction right now by my team and myself. And I'm going to release a version of this tomorrow. Uh, I still want to do a few more tweaks here and there to kind of make it a bit more to my liking. So with that, let's go ahead and fire it up and take a look at the uh, the demo, and hopefully, it'll be worth looking at. Alrighty, so main menu, as you notice in the upper right hand corner of the screen, this is a Steam based game, so it will have the same username and avatar. Sorry, I'm just trying to re readjust the screens here. Um, your Steam username and avatar will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You will need to have a Steam account, and you will need to have Steam on and open in order to be able to um, to play the game in multiplayer. Yes, it is multiplayer. The, uh, the name of the game is Center of Gravity, and that I will explain more tomorrow night. Um, after the release of the public demo. There's some um, nice little background stuff, there's ceiling fans, there's all kind of little content that I've created to make the, the menu a bit more livable. I will be doing some smoothing of the animations of the characters in the background. They just don't seem to be meshing well, so I'm just tweaking some timing and some stuff here and there. You can click single player, you go directly into um, one demo map, or you can hit multiplayer, and want to find a friend's game, click here and find a lobby. Turn my volume down, because it is, I need to adjust the volume of the, uh, the music in the, the lobby. Uh, you can just click on find lobby and it will find any hosted games that are available. And this is Steam region based, so if you're in North America on the East Coast, then you can join in with me on a game that I've hosted. Otherwise, if you're on the West Coast, or if you're in the UK, or wherever else, it's going to be based on your Steam region for being able to find the games. So if you click on Host Game, I will go through a couple of the maps. I'm going to skip the first one for right now, because that's going to change before the public demo. But we're going to go with the Polygon City, and yes, I'm using a Polygon set of characters. Um, so let's just call this map 1. It doesn't matter what I call it right now, because nobody else has this version. So whenever I click on the Make button, it'll automatically go ahead and jump out from the menu and go right into the first map. And this is a nice little sprawling city. And as you can see, you've got buildings and stuff like that. I don't want to show too much of the little extra stuff, but I've added in weapons tables. And when you come over to the weapons table, currently you're carrying a, uh, a pistol and you're carrying an M4 right off the bat. And you can actually come over here, put your pistol away, come up to the table, and you can hit 1, which will refresh your ammo on your M4. Number 2, which will give you the sniper rifle. 3 will give you a shotgun. 4 will give you an AK-47. And 5 will give you a rocket launcher. You right-click to go into a combat mode to be able to fire. And you can fire a rocket launcher. Um, I'm going to the number two key and actually grab I was too close to the table that's why I shot myself there you can see the health and the um, the, the health bar is going to change I'll change the uh, UI some more but as you're running around there's health packs that are sitting around that you can grab and different health packs and different ammo uh, pickups will have different levels of healing you have to kind of look around like there's a small one hiding over here there's ten It'll show a number above the top of it to see how much healing it's going to have. So I'm actually going to right click to go into combat mode and then I can hit the middle mouse button and get a, a sniper reticle. You can only sprint when you're not zoomed in. So if you're, if you're in combat mode you're not going to be able to sprint. So hit that right mouse button and then hit your, sprint, your shift key to be able to sprint. Now I'm going to show one little hidden secret here. One thing that I forgot to fix is the, uh, the piston for that one is, is actually sticking through the building here. But if you want to be a little sneaky butt and 
get into a sniper hide, jump on one of these elevators, and the elevator is going to then take you up to this level up here. And yes, I've got it in multi stages. So get up here, you walk across here, and yes, the collision's off on this, kind of hovering in the air. Not a big deal, but. Elevator comes down, you walk over, you can walk onto this elevator, it'll take you up to the next level, and then. You walk over here, and yes, again, this building has a uh, bad collision. You were never meant to be on the rooftop, so it just has a basic collision system. So you can actually play from right here, or you can take one more elevator up. And this isn't the only elevator system hidden in the map, so you're going to have to explore around and figure out where they are. And they're fully adjustable for height and everything else. And you do have a weapons table up here, and again, the collision's off on it. But once you get up here, you've got a nice little view. The, uh, the park... There's going to be nice health bonuses in the park and a weapons table. Um, but you can see you've got a pretty good view from up here. And yes, by the way, um, there is fall damage. And it hurts. When you, you fall from a, a good height like that, it's going to cause a considerable amount of damage to you. So what I'll do is I'll come over here, I'll grab some health, and then we'll go back to the main menu and go to the, the next map. Yay, health. So the parks are going to be the place you're wanting to go. You've got um, the ability to restock your weapons or ammo, and you also have plenty of health to go around. Alright, and let's go ahead and hit the escape key. We can go back to the main menu. And I'm going to host. And I'm going to go to the fake heist map. Click on Make, and this is the Bank Heist map. And put a nice little wall around everything. It's a small map. It's meant for getting in here and just having a ball with it and running around close quarters. There's ammo, there's health, there's weapons tables, there's stuff hidden all over the place, and yeah really cool. So when you want really fast paced action, small map, and you know everything, let's go ahead and see if we can commit suicide by rocket launcher here and show the respawn feature. So yes, you can accidentally kill yourself with a rocket launcher. When you die, you fall over dead, you hit the P key, and that will respawn you at any one of the random locations. There's spawn locations all over the maps that whenever you do die and hit the P key, you'll respawn at any one of those random locations. So you can go up to a second floor, there's ammo, there's health, there's stuff hidden everywhere. You can come up here and hide this little corner. No, you cannot shoot through the glass, so if you're up here, then you're pretty secure. Nobody can shoot you from, you know, the, the chest down. Alright, so that's that. And, you know, these are all temporary maps, even though I love them. They're great maps. They'll probably get changed out later on, but I'm going to leave them in for the demo for right now. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the main menu. Let's look at one more map. And going back to the main menu will actually um, end your session, so you'll have to host a new section for each new map you go to. Now this one is um, one that was included as part of another um, asset that was picked up. And it was from the MoCap Studios. And again, I've changed the weapons table out to this. And you have their animated guys that you can shoot. They don't move, but you can shoot them. You can see um, the weapon that I'm using is called G17 Lighted. Um, it doesn't put away correctly yet, I'll fix that. Um, but uh, as soon as I can get it, all the bugs worked out of it, the G17 or the, the, the pistol will actually have a workable flashlight. The flashlight is already attached to the model, but um, 
was having some problems with being able to turn the light on and off correctly. So once you do have it, you'll, you'll be able to hit the, uh, the F key and it will turn on the flashlight or turn it off and toggle it back and forth. I'll try to get that fixed as soon as I can, but we've got so many other things going on with this project. Like the elevator's here as well. Come over here, jump on this elevator, take you up, get you a nice little overview. There's a sniper nest up there you can hide in. Tower over there you can run onto. So, yeah, I figured I'd include this map because, well, it's just fun. Um, there's health, there's stuff everywhere. Um, the changes I'm going to be making is, for one, I need to increase the range of the sniper rifle. Currently, it won't cover across the map. So, I want to be able to extend the range out to where if you're hiding over here and you want to shoot somebody up there or over there, anywhere you're sitting on the map is usable for a sniper. And, yeah. Other than that, um, I hope you guys are looking forward to getting your hands on this. I will be releasing this public demo version tomorrow. And it is primarily set up for this kind of combat. There will be other forms of combat coming. It's under um, development right now. But, for now, I just wanted to have something that we could get in here and play with the public and have some fun. Shoot each other, blow each other up, just have a good old time. So, alright, um, I'll leave this video where it is. And I thank you guys for watching. And leave me some comments in my Discord channel in the questions and answers section. And I'll answer your questions about this as well. Oh, and, um... Yes, fall damage oh. not hurt. Uh, whereas these instructions here for the actual player controls... I recommend, if I do leave this map in here, you play this map first. And you look at the, um, the player controls. M will, will toggle the menu. That's been... Um, will, and will be disabled. Um because I'm using a different system. Uh, the WASD for your standard movement, your mouse, your spacebar, um, C will crouch, R for reload, Q for toggle weapon to your pistol, and back. Right mouse button will put you into combat mode, left shift for sprint, um, middle mouse for scope, and P for respawn. I'll revise that a little bit so that it's... Uh, more compliant with what actually is being used. And I like my, my new um, uh, floating health kits and floating ammo kits. Alright guys, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.